Hello and welcome to Living Simply and Fun. I'm your host Aaron and Rita will be here shortly. We're trying to get this in before uh, the Seahawks 49ers game. Uh, that was a good game between Denver and uh, uh, New England. Um, thank goodness that uh, Denver won. Um, I, I wanted to see the two best teams in the Super Bowl, so I'm rooting for the Seahawks. Um, so, there we go. There's that out of the way. Uh, today's topic is going to be uh, about video games, particularly the older cartridge-based games, um, like Game Boy and... Uh, NES, SNES, Atari, uh, Sega systems, not the CDs, etc. Uh, and, and this includes also probably DS games, uh, PSP games, uh, since those can kind of be loose too. I guess you can get a loose P, uh, PS2 or PS3 game in just a plastic jewel case, you know, like a CD case like this one, and that would uh, constitute being loose. But do you go for it complete? Like, uh, I can grab a game here. Uh, like any of these, where they're in here with the booklets. This one's even sealed, still in the plastic, unopened. Uh, do you buy them new when they're older games or complete? The real question you got to ask yourself is are you a collector? And if you're going for a collection, then you might want to buy it new, unopened, just to stick on a shelf. Uh, not necessarily for co value. Uh, games like sports cards have not necessarily gone way up, and actually their prices are falling of lately. So um, it's probably a better choice if you just want to play the game to go ahead and buy it loose. You can find out all the directions online. You can pretty much get everything in the instruction manuals online. You can get your walkthroughs online. Um, you don't really need the case and book for that if you just want to play the game. In fact, most of these older games are on emulators now. So Which I don't recommend because it's illegal. It's technically illegal, but there's plenty of sites out there that offer them free and have been offering them free for years and not being shut down. So, um, The real truth of the fact is, what do you want the game for? When it comes to PS2 and PS3 games, because they're on DVD format, they're on the disc, um, I'd recommend getting them new. I've bought many games to this point that were light new condition, and they don't play because of a slight warp in them. Or Particularly with PS2, because PS2 is a hypersensitive system, the slim lines. Um, if you have the old box one, no problem, but... I was going to say, PS3 games, you usually want to buy sports games uh, new over used. Uh, used isn't bad for PS3 games if you get it complete, um, due to the fact that you still want the case. Uh, you can get used games for as low as like a dollar a piece, particularly when it comes to sports games that are If really you're looking in the right area. Now, EA, of course, has been trying lately to make it so that you have to register your game, like NHL uh, 13 and 14 need to be registered. And I don't believe that once you've registered it that somebody else can register it. You can't play it if you don't register it. So EA's been attempting to do that to stop secondhand sales. So given that, you might just want to stick with new games. I know that EA's done this with, uh, I think it was Dragon Age. No, it was uh, Kingdom of Amular. Uh, it's not resellable. So you got to be careful with the more current games also to make sure that they're not one of these that... Once you've logged in using the game, that no one else can ever use it because it's registered to your system. So, I'd, I'd say with newer games, go new. Older games, it depends on what you want. Uh, I agree. You also have to ask yourself for newer loot, newer loose on cartridge, what you're going to do with it. Usually you look at the back of the box and it's got a couple thingies. And that's it. Whereas you get loose games, it's just the game itself. Sometimes in a case. Loose games. These, these are all original Game Boy games. Loose. Uh, these have at least a plastic protector case, Which, but they're still technically loose in my opinion. Uh, yeah, because there's no manual. Now, manual, it'd be uh, still loose, but if, for example, if the game came in... The, and by the way, just to let you know, Game Boy games did come with these little cases when you bought them. 
All of them did. Nintendo was nice enough to do it with these little cases. Same with Game Gear. But when they got out of it, they started doing Game Boy Advance games with... Here's game... a GBA game. And by the way, if anybody who's watching this happens to know where to get these uh, Mad Cats cases, I've looked for them online. I can't find them. I found a place that sells them, but you're paying $15 per Mad Cat case because it's shaped like a little Game Boy. Yeah, game. I think that's really cool, and I'd like to acquire some more. And we got a bunch of games that are loose, so uh, I'd like to be able to put them in those. Uh, now, the box, for example, if you got a complete game like this. There's a Game Gear loose. Like this. You got a box, and this is Doom, for example. No, that's All right, Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. And you complete, see the in the complete, box, sealed. Sealed, for example. Hold on. You got uh, right there, and it shows in the back three pictures of the game. That's it. Here. Now, now, if you're a Wolfenstein fan, something like this might be something that you want to stick on your shelf. And if you see the reflection, you <laughs> can tell the plastic's still on there. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is for these games, for example, that are completely and thoroughly sealed is the problem with these games is uh, sealed is all you get like I said for RPGs or etc is one, uh, a box with maybe two or three little pictures like Super NES like this is Castlevania sealed you got two boxes in the backs the storyline in the front and then the box art and the uh, storyline in the back and the box art in the back yeah. This is basically the same. Now, the problem with something like this, which is also new sealed, if you wanted to play this, this game's going for what right now? Like a hundred dollars a piece. It's going for a hundred bucks right now. So if we took that and wanted to play it, we'd drop the value immediately to like ten dollars. So do you want to get new and essentially destroy ninety dollars of your money by opening it right away? It's probably better than to just get used if you're planning on playing it. Uh, save the new ones for true collectors because they're beginning to run a, a low, hard to find. Um, and so, if, if you're planning on playing it, don't buy new. Go ahead and just get the loose cart. Uh, and do make sure that you find a place to get batteries. There are places online that sell them. I want to make a statement on that when he says get loose. Get loose over complete because complete might be good for you if you have the box, the manual, but now, it doesn't Can you raise... grab one of those that's open, though, that's still in the box? How's this? It doesn't matter what you get. Here, this one's Breath of Fire. This one's actually open, so... Th this is what you'd call a complete game. Uh, Rita's got this in another How's thing. How's this one for three fifty? Original Game Boy game, Castlevania Adventure. Rita, Rita's playing this game on her. Uh, 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 actually, she's got a GameCube con concoction that hooks up a GBA system to the uh, uh, GameCube. And she was gonna get me one for that uh, myself. It's like fourteen bucks, uh, which makes the GameCube one of the handiest game systems ever because uh, there's not many GameCube How's games this? I really want. $300 for Pokemon Gold, sealed. $400 for Pokemon Silver, Game Boy Color, but you'd, sealed. You'd drop 350 bucks off those. Batteries one. aren't holding a charge anymore on that. But here's Super Mario Advanced uh, uh, Super Mario Advanced um, and if I can um, this is what you'd call complete. You got the game in here, you've got the manual here, and you got the box. Oop, there goes the game. Um, and you also still have the precaution booklet from Game Boy itself. And so this is complete, and it's worth more money than used. Um, but, because it's used, but it's complete. Um... This is the way to go if you are like a hardcore gamer who wants to have a shelf full of games and be able to show them off because then you have at least the box because those little cartridges, you can't very well see them on your shelf. But this, you, you can turn like that or like this and you can have a nice looking shelf with games all the way across uh, and, you know, it, it'll look a lot nicer. Pokemon Crystal, $600. See ya. Yes, so uh, you don't need to show off your collection. I'm not. There's one I was going to say that's very rare to get a hold of and that... Uh, yes, I know, but you're half sitting on me. <sighs> so all I'm trying to say here is that it depends on what your purpose is. Do you want a nice shelf sitting behind you back here or something that's got all your games visible? 
get them complete. If you want to, uh, if you're a huge Pokemon fan, as Rita's showing, then you're going to want to get them actually still sealed. Uh, so that you could stick them on your shelf, but you wouldn't want to plan to open them. You'd get a second copy complete so that you can play it, while you have one copy to keep on the or shelf loose. nice. And, or you could get it loose. Uh, if you just want to play the game, and then who cares? Get it loose. Um, and that's all I think that we can really do on this topic, so... I was going to share one thing with them, but... <coughs> Problem is, I cannot find... It might not be there. It might be in your treasures case. No, no, no. It was in here. Anyway. What is it? Uh, Zelda. Oh. I think that's in uh, your treasures case, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. It could be down there. So, anyways, that's all we got to say. And thank you for watching. Um, the game I was looking for, for all of you guys out there, so I'm just going to give you a text. Oh. That's unopened. Is uh, Zelda the Minish Cap completely oh. new for like six hundred dollars as well, unopened by it's, some. It's down there somewhere. You're just missing it. Yes, then. exactly. And Unless it's see, in your treasures case. Uh, as you can see, that these are the ones. So, so uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned to us. Uh, we'll be making a video next weekend. We don't know it yet. Uh, go Seahawks. Um, and leave comments and suggestions, add us as a friend, uh, and subscribe to us. Thank you for watching, and have a great weekend.